I'm Lauren. Welcome to Church at Home. Today we are continuing our series, All About God's Family. That's the family that is made up of all the people who love and follow Jesus. Each week we are learning more about what makes this family different and special and what the people in God's family do. And one of the things we can do in God's family can be found by taking a look at our one thing. That's the one thing we want to make sure you hear today. It says, God's family forgives. That means we choose to let go of our anger and hurt towards someone. It's not always easy, but God tells us it's always right. And we can trust and follow what God says because God is good. In fact, let's stand up together and sing a song about God's goodness right now. Let's sing. Hey friends, we're gonna sing this song and it's called Good. It's all about how God is good. No matter what we're going through, He is there and He is good. So let's start out the song with raising our hands. So here we go. Who you are never moved like land or waves and you don't change for any reason. Sing out, you've proven yourself. You've proven yourself time and time again. You've given me reason to believe. Sing out, I trust you. I trust you with all my heart. You are who you say you are. Sing out, you are good. God is good, and no matter what we face, we can choose to believe that. 
Let's be honest, our Bible story today is about someone who faced a lot of tough stuff, but through it all, he chose to believe that God was good and had a good plan for him. So let's watch our Bible story. And remember, the Bible is God's holy book. It tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. Its truths never change and it teaches us how to live God's way. Check out this story about Joseph. Stories of the Bible. Joseph forgives. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him ah. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. And Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end, and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands, and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah! But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others Aww. because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them. <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! So Joseph decided to test his brothers. <clears throat> he had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. Aww. On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed, so he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away, but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Wow, after everything Joseph's brothers did to him and all Joseph went through during his time in Egypt, where he ended up because of his brothers, Joseph still chose to forgive them? That is some next level forgiveness. Joseph's family clearly wasn't perfect, and your family probably isn't perfect either. There are going to be times when you will have to choose to forgive someone in your family, because we are all going to make wrong choices sometimes. Even in God's family, people choose wrong sometimes. And this Bible story tells us that God wants us to choose for forgiveness every time. We can do that and still make safe choices. If someone is doing things that are not safe, you can talk to an adult you trust who can help you. Forgiveness doesn't mean we think what happened was okay or we go back to being best friends with someone, but it means we decide in our hearts and with God to let go of our anger or hurt towards someone. Our Bible verse tells us more about who God is and the attitude He wants us to have towards others. Check out Psalms 145.8. It says, The Lord is merciful and compassionate, slow to get angry and filled with unfailing love. 
God's family forgives because it is what God did for us. Let's sing and praise God for who He is with our Bible verse song. Hey everyone, this is Psalm 145.8. This says that our Lord is merciful, compassionate, and slow to get angry. That is our God. Let's sing it out together. Ready? Let's go. Did you hear that part that says God is slow to get angry? That doesn't mean that God doesn't get angry, but He loves us so much and He wants to forgive us and give us every chance He can to do what is right. We can be confident to know that when we ask God for forgiveness, He will forgive us because He loves us so much. And that's why we can forgive others when we are in God's family, because God has forgiven us through Jesus. So let's check out the show where two bros will chat all about what it means to forgive in God's family, get to know some different members of the family, and have fun in a little friendly competition, of course. It's The Bro Show with Eddie and Nathan. Let's watch. Hey everyone, <laughs> thanks for tuning in to today's show. My name is Eddie. And I'm Nathan. And we are bros. Okay, not real bros, but we're still brothers because we're both in God's family. This show is all about hanging with some people in God's family. And those are the people who love and follow Jesus. We're going to have the best time getting to know them, laughing, dancing, and having a little friendly competition, of course. So let's get this show on the road, because you're watching The Bro Show. Dude, this is the best day ever. Pajama day here at The Bro Show. What's up, bro? Of course. Oh, yeah. Much better. Well, it's gonna be a great show today, and not only because of our pajamas, but because we have amazing guests, and we gotta play one of my favorite games today. Should we bring them out? Let's do it. Savvy and Ruby, welcome to the Bro Show. Hi. Hey there. Hi, hi. Now, first things first, it's pajama day here at the Bro Show. Just snap your fingers like this, and you'll be good to go. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, that was awesome. All right, why don't you tell us your names and your favorite movie snack? Really think about your choice, though, because here at The Bro Show, your wish is our command. 
Hi, I'm Ruby, and my favorite snack is popcorn. Such a classic. Oh, oh. oh look at that. Oh, thank you. All right, your turn, Savannah. I'm Savannah, and my favorite movie snack is Twizzlers, for sure. And I don't want to hear about how anyone thinks red vines are better. It's just not true. Oh, oh look at that. Wow. Oh, they're yummy. Thank you. Yes. So we're suited up, we're snacked up, so now let's get into it. The Bro Show is all about hanging with some people in God's family, while we're learning about what makes God's family different and special. Today we're going to be talking about the story of Joseph, not the nicest of families. I mean, they literally threw the bro in a pit. But we saw how Joseph did something huge. He forgave his brothers who hurt him. And that's why today's one thing says, God's family forgives. That word forgives means you choose to let go of your anger or hurt towards someone. It doesn't mean what they did was okay, but it means you aren't going to let yourself be angry or bitter anymore. And remember, you can forgive and still make safe choices. If someone isn't a safe person, talk to an adult you trust for help. All right, yeah. Ruby and Savannah, have you ever had to forgive someone or ask for forgiveness? Can you share what that was like? Yeah. So one time, my friend really hurt my feelings. So I asked to beat up with her and talk about what happened. And she asked for forgiveness, and I forgave her. And now, we have an even better relationship. That's amazing. What about you, Savvy? One time, my brother tattletale on me, and I was really upset. But later that day, I decided to forgive him. Thanks for sharing that. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair to forgive, but we can still make that choice because God says it's right. And in God's family, we choose to do things a little bit differently, well, because we're in God's family. So, you guys up for a game? Yeah! It's time for Cool or Not Cool. So each of us comes up with something super random and made up. We watch it come to life, and then we weigh on on whether it's cool or not. And if you're watching in our audience, yell out your answer too. I'll start, all right? Ducks riding on a rainbow roller coaster. Okay, okay. Mm. I think it's, that's cute. What do you guys think? Cute, cute. Is it cool? Well, but not cool. Not let's cool. say not cool. Cute. cute, but not cool. Okay. Cute, but not cool. Yeah, okay. cute. Mm -hmm. All right, Ruby, your turn. Okay, how about a sand castle made out of talkies? Cool. Ooh, cool. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. That's cool. That's cool. You know what? I vote cool. 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 All right, Savvy, your turn. Okay, I've got it. A portable bacon dispenser. Mm. Bacon anytime, all the time. Ooh. Oh, that's oh, cool. oh okay, that's okay. really cool. I like that. You know, I like that. What do you say? I vote cool. 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 All right, these are pretty good, but are you ready for a kitten with a pancake tongue? Pretty cool. Half cool. Nah, man, that's not cool. That's not cool. I vote not cool. Dude, I'm sorry. I For real? To. I'm sorry. Come on, guys. Like, I spent that whole time thinking of the coolest thing I could think of. I gotta say, I'm a little offended. Oh, come on, man. It's all fun. Look, I'm sorry. I mean, if I saw a real cat with a pancake tongue, I would have thought it was really cool. You know what? I forgive you. Hug it out, bro. Aww. It's okay, man. All right. That was beautiful. Oh, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm good. Wow, what does this button do? <laughs> Here is a random character just for you. <laughs> what? Can I have that back? What? <laughs> what? Hey, S sir? Hey, what, what just happened? happened? You never know what kind of randomness you're in for here at the Bro Show. <laughs> well, girls, I'm so glad we got to hang today, and I'm glad you're part of God's family, too. God's family isn't perfect, but we can make the choice to forgive others. God's family is different. We can choose to let go of our anger towards someone or a situation, even when things don't make sense to us. And remember our one thing, God's family forgives. We forgive because we are forgiven by God. That is one of the coolest parts of being in the family. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. I love getting to know some of the kids who have made the choice to follow Jesus and join God's family. That's what The Bro Show is all about. 
Savvy and Ruby each shared about a time they had to forgive someone or ask for forgiveness. And I bet you've had to do that too at some point, right? Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. And honestly, you might not want to forgive. But in God's family, we choose to obey God and God tells us to forgive. When you hold on to all that anger and frustration towards someone, you only make yourself feel worse. But forgiveness means you choose to let go of that anger. And when you do, you'll feel a lot better. If Jesus can forgive the sins of the world, then we can forgive too. Let's take a minute and talk to Jesus right now. Dear Jesus, thank you for forgiving us. You didn't have to, but you chose to. Help us to choose to forgive others too, even when it's hard or when we don't want to. We want to follow you and do what you ask us to do. We love you, amen. Thanks for joining us today as we learn all about God's family, a family you can be a part of when you choose to love and follow Jesus. And remember the one thing, God's family forgives. Bye.